beautiful beaches, highly rated public schools, fabulous dining, and close to Los Angeles. If you're looking for that Southern California beach lifestyle, Manhattan Beach is truly an ideal place to live. But there's no perfect place, and every city comes with its advantages and disadvantages. So in today's video, I'm keeping it real and getting into the pros and cons of living in Manhattan Beach. What's up everybody, this is Shira Adato, and here on this channel, I cover everything you need to know about life in the South Bay and the beautiful beach cities of Los Angeles. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button below if you want to stay in the know. As much as I love making these videos, I love helping you with your real estate needs. I get so many texts and calls from people moving here every day, and I absolutely love it. So if you are considering a move, let's have that conversation so I can provide the clarity you need and I can also give you access to off-market properties and insider tips you may not see in other places. I've got your back when moving to the beach cities. So let's get into the pros and cons of living in Manhattan Beach. The city of Manhattan Beach was established in 1912. It's actually one of three beach cities within the South Bay area of Los Angeles, also Redondo and Hermosa are its neighbors. Manhattan Beach is the northernmost city of the three, just four miles south of LAX Airport. Now overall, it's a wonderful community that gives you that small town, know your neighbors kind of feel within a beautiful beach setting, but also gives you all the amenities of living near a big city. So I'll start with the pros, with the number one obviously being the beach. Known as one of the best beach communities in America, Manhattan Beach is famous for its incredible surf volleyball tournaments, and beautiful oceanfront homes. Anywhere you live, you are within a few minutes walk or drive to gorgeous beaches. And on every, any given day, you'll find people walking, riding bikes, playing volleyball, or just relaxing on the sand. You can be out doing your errands and you get to enjoy the most beautiful views and ocean air. And let's not forget those incredible sunsets. Now, the city is a mecca for surfers, professional athletes and beach volleyball players. It's just a great outdoorsy kind of town. They host an annual surf festival and the Manhattan Beach Open, which is a professional beach volleyball tournament. Just lots of fun. And the good news is, even if you don't live right on the beach, many homes throughout the neighborhoods, especially if you're up on the hill, enjoy ocean views. Now for a full breakdown of the various neighborhoods, definitely check out this video I did above. Pro number two. Because the public schools operate outside of the Los Angeles Unified School District, the quality of education is a huge draw for many home buyers. The Manhattan Beach Unified School District is an Apple Distinguished School District and a national tech leader. Schools consistently rank in the top 1% nationally. There are five elementary schools, one middle school, and one high school, Mira Costa High School, which is continuously ranked high in nationwide polls and they have an extremely strong sports program as well with numerous state and national titles. Now to read more about the district, it's a very personal decision. You definitely want to go to mbusd.org or greatschools.org to see all the ratings. Pro number three, within the population of only around 35,000, Manhattan Beach has a very small town feel with a great sense of community, great localized shops and restaurants in downtown Manhattan Beach. And yes, there's like a Starbucks and a few brands, but a lot of the shops are locally owned, unique kind of boutique stores and not big brands. You also have an amazing culinary scene with Iron Chef acclaimed MB Post, the Strand House, and several Michelin star restaurants, including, as of this recording, MB Post, the Arthur J, Sushi Anaba, Love and Salt. I think there's one more. Pro number four would be the weather. We have year-round comfortable weather in the 60s and 70s. There are only a few weeks a year where it may dip lower or higher than that. In recent years with rising global temperatures, we have a few weeks of super hot weather that can get to the 80s and 90s. But even when we have very hot temperatures, it's low humidity and really nice ocean breezes, so it doesn't get too uncomfortable. Pro number five, related to the weather, is we have a very healthy, year-round, outdoorsy kind of lifestyle. There are plenty of beautiful parks, like the Greenbelt, the Strand for running and walking and biking, and beach, 
Now in the last two years, when so many people were homebound and stuck indoors, living here brought the benefit of being able to enjoy being outdoors year round, outdoor dining and gatherings. When so much else was restricted, a day does not go by that I'm not grateful for that part of our lifestyle. Now this all sounds wonderful, right? All those fabulous things about living here, what's the catch? Well, now I'm gonna get into some of the cons of living here. Starting with the most obvious, with all these wonderful things, living here comes at a cost. The median home price in Manhattan Beach is upwards of $2 million. And when you think of a $2 million home in most places, you think of a gorgeous sprawling estate. But here that basically gets you into a starter home and often not even with a lot of land, especially if you live down in the sand section. Their homes can run upwards of $10 million and you can basically reach out and touch your neighbor's house even though you're paying $10 million. And with high property values comes property taxes. But despite paying these high taxes, our high-end public schools have an expectation of large donations to the Education Foundation, and many families contribute an additional several thousand dollars a year. Con number two. Now, while the weather is listed as a pro in most cases, if you're someone who enjoys seasons, the weather won't be great for you as we don't get much of a fall or winter to experience. And in the summer months, while warm, it's notorious for what we call May gray and June gloom. The marine layer keeps our days foggy until sometime late afternoon when it burns off and the sun finally does come out. Number three, LA is notorious for bad traffic. So if you live in Manhattan Beach and you have to commute to LA or if you have to commute south to Orange County, you will definitely have to deal with traffic. But even within Manhattan Beach, there can be traffic. It's a small town with smaller roads. And sometimes when you're driving down the narrow streets, there are cars parked, you have to pull to one side to let the car in the opposite direction come by. And those narrow streets are tough, especially during like school drop off and pick up times. Now, thankfully people here are pretty courteous and you know, it's not that much of a bother, but just something to be aware of. Number four, no area is immune from mother nature. And living in California, we have our fair share of dealing with the elements. And while we don't necessarily deal with fires like other areas of California, the South Bay is not immune to earthquakes. Earthquake insurance is also quite expensive and has very high deductibles. Now other cons that have to do with the elements, because we live at the beach, termites are a real issue. Homes are made of wood, and when you bring water and wood together, you will get termites. So it's definitely something you have to look out for and it requires regular maintenance. Most homeowners will have some kind of quarterly inspections and preventative treatments that they do. Number five, and I would say as a final con, living near the beach, land is at a premium and the lots tend to be really small. So not a huge ton of yard space. Plus, be prepared to live very close to your neighbor. So those are my top pros and cons of living in Manhattan Beach. As much as I love making these videos, I love helping you even more, but I can't help you unless you reach out. So if you're thinking of making a move and need a trusted advisor to guide you through this process, definitely reach out. All my contact info is below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.